What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the 2006 mixtape by Young Jock. Basically this project is called Jock of Spades and it came out in the late summer of 2006. Now the actual thing about this particular mixtape is now the actual thing about this particular mixtape is just the fact that there's not really like a bound release date for it just in particular. It's kind of mysterious as to when it particularly came out. There's some places that say it came out in November 2006. Other places like allmusic.com say it came out in other places like allmusic.com say it came out in September 2006 and then Wikipedia doesn't even know when it came out. It just says 2006. So it's just kind of the concept. I think it came out after Young Jock's New Jock City of June of 2006 and also but I would have to say it's just kind of interesting. <clears throat> It's just an interesting kind of pitch because this is such a low key project in particular, but it is a pretty heralded one for the most part. I mean, I look after it, it's not going to get an outstanding kind of score just in the full blown sense, but it is, it's it's definitely dope and slick enough to have some gems on there in particular, I would have to say. So it's a pretty good concept to get that sort of stuff. It's definitely Young Jock when he was red hot in 2006. He was really dominating things throughout 2006 as far as that pitch can happen with songs like I Know You See It, Patron, It's Going Down, some of those type ones, being on the Showstopper remix, some of those type pitches just within that and particular i'd have to say young talk was pretty much on fire in 2006 and did a lot of things right so it's just a concept of this and just a pretty good follow-up project to new jock city as far as that pitch kind of went now new jock city is basically like a classic in terms of rap music and southern rap music from the 2000s i'd have to say but this particular project basically just like a bolster of that particular sound this project definitely has some ringtone rap and snap rap type tunes on here i would have to say it's just kind of a good concept to get that in particular i would have to suppose just kind of some extra young jock some secret batch of songs from him and his prime as far as that particular pitch can happen now really this is kind of like like i was saying this is a haphazard product here just because it doesn't really i mean there's a bunch of songs on this particular product but a lot of these are just remixes and just kind of interludes there's eight interludes out of 26 songs on this particular product so it narrows it down to 18 songs and out of those remaining 18 songs five of them are remixes and on the mixtape version the one that i downloaded basically for those remixes that are actual songs like the chain hanging low remix the patron remix some of those type ones the Come to me, the Come to Me remix by Puff Daddy, some of those type pitches. They're just not even on this particular mixtape because I think they those were original songs that were on albums and stuff, so it wouldn't have made terribly much it wouldn't have made super sense to have had those available for free as far as that pitch kind of went with it but i think you can actually purchase this mixtape it's just kind of the concept i just got the free version of the mixtape because it is a mixtape just to have for a free download but i just look after it if you do purchase this mixtape you get like four or five extra songs just within that relative pitch now one of which is a trade the truth song one of which is a trade the truth song which is just the in the hood remix i would have to say in particular it's a decent enough concept i didn't really enjoy that song as much so i just that's i just am going to pass on these remixes is I'm just going to narrow it down to 13 songs and talk about the 13 songs I recommend on here. So basically out of 13 songs on this particular mixtape, I wound up recommending to you four full-blown songs plus three almost songs. That's approximately seven out of 13, kind of pseudo of which, but this mixtape is a little bit subpar, but I'd say it's still good just because it's young jock and his prime just within that particular amount and it's just of it, but it's just kind of the concept that it's just shorthanded. And this doesn't have enough of like the this doesn't have enough of like the good gumption of what neat young jock really needed i mean it's a good concept to get like a bonus package of young jock especially in his prime years this is kind of the concept that it kind of leaves you hungry and it kind of leaves you wanting another quality single like patron or i know you see it something like that i mean there are some gems on here i would have to say it's just the concept but it's just shorthanded i would have to say but basically the four songs i recommend would be are you a performa bounce like this fuck your shit and ooh and then the three almost songs would be god damn what featuring the yin yang twins which is also on the block ent mixtape if you don't know about that and the same thing can be said about jockin which is also on the block ent mixtape which i reviewed back in january it's a good concept to get that's called welcome to my blog pretty good pitch that's pretty stellar mixtape i'd have to say in particular that one i do know when that one came out that came out in may of 2006 so it's a good concept but those are basically just because the young jock mixtape just because the i would have to halfway give it to this mixtape just because the block mixtape i'm not sure terribly many folks even know about in particular it's a very low-key project that this is not talked about especially in today's times i'd have to suppose then the other almost song i'd have to say is just they go or they like which is and then the other almost song the third almost song would be they go or they like which is basically a pretty good concept so talk about that one basically they go is like an out and on the go kind of day commerce jazz of a song in particular i'd have to say and it's like a typical kind of car cruise out type tune i would have to say pretty good concept for that and this is just a definite good concept for that and this is just a good song to kind of have when you're in a good mood i'd have to say it just has some real pep about it just kind of breeze 
just a real kind of breezy hair in the wind type tune as far as that pitch can have just sunny days stuff like that just a summery kind of rompish type tune just to kind of get for some cruise out type tunes just appreciating your ride appreciating the bz stuff like that just those sorts of pitches getting some drive through type food and just being in an overall good mood just day going good stuff like that just work wasn't a bitch today some of those type of atmospheres as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it just some good stuff but the reason why it's an almost song for me is i just don't know how commonly i would listen to it i mean it has like a rough around the edges kind of production it's an okay production it has a lot of bravado about it kind of a brassy bravado type production as far as that pitch kind of goes definitely reminds me of something that shot boys would do something within that relative pitch but i just would have to say it's kind of middle of the road production as far as that pitch kind of went with it i do like it it's um it's a decently and relatively good production it's just kind of a concept i just don't know how frequently i would listen to it full blown i'd have to say it's just kind of a concept where possibly but just not as super common as like some of these other ones on here that's suppose in particular so that's just kind of the concept so that one's an almost song a real nice quickie on here is ooh and this particularly has southern girl who i haven't heard that chick that much but i would have to say that young jock and her make a pretty good combination the song's like a groomed kind of elegant in between type moment i would have to say just in particular just a good pitch for that it's like some boo music it's like some steamy kind of boo and bay type music i would have to say in particular and nowadays this is like some instagram story feed type stuff i would have to say pretty good concept for that it's as far as that pitch can goes and this is just a pretty crispy song i'd have to say just a good concept for that it's really like the concept of some of these in-between type moments this song is less than a minute it's just really like uh this is just really like an in-between just kind of an interim type song just putting on cologne some of those type pitches just within that relative aspect it's a good in-between type moment especially especially with bass some of those type pitches it's kind of a good nice one just to kind of have for some just to kind of have for some docking type moments i'd have to say pretty good concept so <clears throat> there are some pretty good songs for the ladies on here on this particular project. There's some secret songs, like a particular one that's pretty nice on here is Are You a Performer, which has Trey songs. This feels like more of a Trey song song more so than a Young Jock song, but I do like the concept of supposing that just because it makes me question if Trey songs recruited Young Jock for this particular song. And this is originally like a spare kind of Trey song song, but it's just an interesting concept because it's definitely some snap rap type jive. I like some snap R&B type stuff. Pretty good concept for that. And this one's like a syrupy kind of R&B snap type bop, I would have to say in particular like i was saying dope enough to kind of get that in particular it's like a slinky kind of rosy low-key 2000s club outing i would have to say in a system overall snaz i would have to suppose this one definitely has one of the best productions on the whole mixtape i'd have to say just a real nice slinky type one that just works pretty well very hypnotic type one just to kind of get some electro type stuff very hypnotic one to get just some boppish type stuff i would have to say just a very just a very excessively good type one trey songs and young doc make a pretty good combination so this is a nice one to kind of get on here definitely an excessively nice one another one that's pretty Pretty close to that one is bounce like this this says mark has houston on there which is a pretty good pitch just like that particular concept this is like a jazzy kind of electric snap rap dance tune i would have to say in particular nice one nice enough pitch to get this one it's like a pleasant secret young jock gem i would have to say so it's a nice concept to get this one basically like a good one two punch with are you a perform both these are like some snap rap r&b type tunes just in particular this one's a little bit more jazzy and electronic i would have to say bounce like this is a little bit more jazzy and electric i'd have to say a little bit more of like a typical kind of dance type tune like laffy taffy something like that i'd have to stay in particular but both of them are some pretty good jazzy type ones to kind of get here marcus houston and young jock also teamed up on first time from new jock city so it's another good combination to get those two back on another team up this works pretty well i think i actually like bounce like this more than first time i'd have to say it's a pretty good concept but i do both of which are pretty good combination of songs i'd recommend both the songs but this one's just probably like a hair or two better and then fuck your shit's a pretty highlighted one so this is like a late ringtone rap version of like leftover crunk i would have fuck your shit is like a late ringtone rap version of leftover crunk i would have to say in particular I definitely like the concept of getting some of that particular type stuff this is like a rowdy turn up type tune i would have to say and this is just good for some dance noise so i'd have to say definitely appreciate this one if you do like if you do miss more of like the little scrappy and little john type stuff of like the early mid 2000s as far as that pitch kind of happens this is a good example of some of that just in like a snap rap kind of sense this is a good fuck your shit like a good pseudo ringtone rap type blend of some crunk as far as that pitch can happens this is a good concept kind of get that like a, this would definitely have to say some good stuff just to get some of that leftover melded type stuff as the phase has started to phase out just with certain styles of rap music as far as that pitch kind of went along with that that's say so it's a good concept but to basically talk about some of these songs i don't recommend on here there were some ones on here that i just didn't recommend just because it's just better to get the album version like i feel like we ready is just an example of that that was on the boys in the hood second album back up in the chevy and i just would prefer it on that particular album without without all the mixtape fanfare i would have to say 
the the Trey the Truth song in the hood remix is just a poor type one. Didn't really like the production of that particular one. It's just kind of a grading type one. I feel like that they, they probably could have done something better with that in particular. It just would have turned out better. I feel like Trey the Truth when he did the Lil Wayne song screwed up. That was just a way better pitch of something to kind of have for like some southern twang as far as that pitch kind of went. But that one was just not a full blown good example. There were some Boys in the Hood songs on here like Born and Raised. That one was kind of like a boom bap type beat that just didn't really belong on the project at all. That was pretty much like one of the worst productions on the whole project. I'd have to say just a real completely piss poor type one i feel like the 400 degrees freestyle is just kind of one i mean that one i like the fact that young jock freestyled on this particular mixtape but i definitely feel like he probably could have had i think there's better juvenile songs to freestyle to as far as that pitch can happen i definitely would have picked like ha huh, or i definitely would have picked like back that ass up one of those particular type ones off of 400 degrees those probably would have been some better ones to pick but that was the 400 degrees tile track which is the poor type one i kind of feel like some other ones on here like zoom zoom is a good song but it's just better on the little boozy album I'd have to say so there's just some pitches like that just in particular as far as that particular kind of goes with it and then of course god damn and jockin are just the ones that are off of like the welcome to my block mixtape by block ent so i just would recommend that particular i would recommend downloading that particular tape because that's a pretty nice one it has some definite gems on there including a song with boys in the hood and lil wayne some of those type pitches i'd have to suppose definitely some good gems on there Jeezy's on that particular project. He helps out Big E on a song. There's just some good stuff. I would recommend checking out that review I did back in January just to see that. But So me basically recommending four songs out of 13 plus three almost songs. Basically a pseudo seven out of 17. Basically a pseudo seven out of 13. I'm going to go ahead and give this mixtape like a 5.25 out of 10. I kind of feel like that's relatively good. Just a hair or two above middle of the road. I'd have to say I definitely recommend this project just for the secret young jock songs just because he has such a compelling personality and stuff like that. It's just kind of constant there's just so many duds on here and just there's just so many duds on here and the appeal of this project kind of drops the ball for the most part i'd have to say i mean the songs that are good are definitely really good but there should have been more moments like are you a performer bounce like this fuck your shit some of those type ones Ooh, definitely maybe even another song like they go or they like this within that relative pitch just the concept of just getting some of these particular type moments and also that trunk was kind of a poor soulful type song that was trying to be like the cheesy type don cannon type vibes but it just didn't really pull it off that well so that was another type one that just didn't work but just the concept too many remixes on this particular product especially on the mixtape version where you don't even get those on the like the downloads as, as that particular kind of goes and i just question if they would be worth it if you did purchase this product as far as that pitch kind of happens and just judging by the quality of this tape i wouldn't say I, it seems less likely that it's full-blown worth the purchase i'd have to suppose but it's just good enough to be able to say that it's worth the download for getting like these four or five extra young jock songs just within that relative pitch so that's kind of the thing the social score i'm going to go ahead and give like a six and a half out of ten because i feel like there's some compelling quality on here and there's some compelling quality on here in terms of the social appeal i would definitely say young jock was pretty popular in 2006 it was doing a ton of things right he just had some sharp razor shark type verses and stuff like that the social appeal some of these these snap rap and ringtone rap type dance tunes really work pretty heavily i'd have suppose definitely has that vivid kind of definitely has that vivid kind of immediate and casual type of feel it has suppose so some nice ones are you perform a bounce like this or some good nightclub type tunes fuckers just some classic crunk i would have to say Ooh is kind of like a nice in-between type bot for bay and stuff like that and then they go or they like it's like a good cruise out type tunes there's some decent ones on here plus goddamn it's pretty good bot for the, like nightclubs it has yin yang twins on there on top of that if you didn't know that about that song because i didn't talk about it that much then Jockin's like a great song to smoke to and some pitches like that. So this is kind of a concept. Definitely pretty vivid social type of feel just within that aspect. The social score is definitely higher than the regular score just because there is some bops on here just within a sense. It's kind of a lot of repeat offenders as far as that particular pitch kind of goes along with that. Just needed more moments like some of the best moments like Bounce Like This and Are You Performing some of those type ones. I definitely feel like Young Jock probably had the hits just judging. I definitely feel like Young Jock probably had the hits just judging by songs like Patron and some of those type ones and it's going down some of those type pitches and the Showstopper remix some of those type ones and even songs out this particular project like are you performa and bounce like this and some of those type ones it just kind of he just doesn't utilize that particular concept well enough as far as that pitch can goes but six point six and a half social so in terms of the future like young jock has kind of vanished from recent times that that's supposed in particular it's kind of an unfortunate thing just because he was a pretty good pro just because he is a pretty good pro at swag rap and stuff like that and it's overall throwing southern rap out and some of those type pitches i'd have to say so it's a good concept to get some of that but i just don't know if they'll be dropping more projects but this is definitely 
this has some gems on here it's definitely worth investing in despite how low key it kind of is i would have to say yeah it's worth to pick it up just if you've never heard of this particular product and you want to see some more young jock that's just kind of secretive and mysterious that has suppose in particular it's just kind of concept that it is slightly half-baked it could use more gems like the best moments i'd have to say it definitely could have done that i think if they had just it's not so much that they're full-blown bad song i think young jock had the ability to probably make this project a classic it's just the fact that he chose the wrong songs and just didn't put enough hits like the some of his best songs that he has around so that's just kind of the concept about it